In this video, we're going to create code in Excel VBA that will save a set range from a worksheet as a PDF file to a specific location on our drive. So what you see here is actually what we're going to create today. I have a data range of formulas that show revenues and expenses for different branches. I have a drop down menu here to the right that I can select different branch locations from and the formulas update here. Also to the right I have a macro button that will take this range and save it as a PDF file to a set folder on my shared drive. This folder is called sales PDF files and currently it's empty so when I click this button what it will do is save this as a PDF with the file name being the branch that is selected here in this cell and today's date so I'll go ahead and run this you can see we get that specific file name and it's exactly as it appears on our report range in our worksheet. So the first thing we want to do is get into the VBA editor window. You can do that by hitting Alt F11. Anywhere in this project window I'm going to right click, go to insert, and then module. We'll call this subroutine 2 PDF and we'll begin by declaring some variables here first one is going to be called WB it's going to be as the data type workbook represents the workbook we're in now the next one is going to be called WS for worksheet it's going to represent the worksheet we're currently on we're going to have one called RNG for range it's going to be as the data type range and that just represents the range containing the data we want to save to a PDF file we're going to have a variable called path and that is going to be as the data type string which represents the path we want to save our file to. We have a final variable called file name and that is also going to be as the data type string and that represents our file name. So we have three object variables here the workbook worksheet and range so we need to set those up and they begin with the keyword set so we're gonna set our workbook equal to this workbook the workbook we're in now we're gonna set our worksheet variable to the workbook variable we just created and then worksheets and the name of the sheet that contains our report is called report output we're gonna set our range variable equal to the range that contains the data we want in our PDF file which is range D3 to J19 so we're gonna reference our worksheet variable and then range D3 to J19 Our path variable is going to be equal to the location where we want to save our files to, which that is going to be this path here. So I'm just going to copy that path. And this is a string, so it needs to be enclosed in double quotes. And we eventually want to join the file name to the end of this path, so we need to add a slash to the end of this. So our file name variable is going to be a string also and it's going to be the value of whatever branch is selected in this cell here which is M5 and today's date. So we're going to reference our worksheet variable again range M5 value 
and we want to join this to our date and maybe we'd like a space in between that so we'll use an and symbol to join this to a space which is a space enclosed in double quotes and then we'll use another and symbol to join this to today's date so to get today's date we're going to use the now function and we want to format that in a particular way so we're going to use the format function and that has two inputs the first is what we want to format that is just going to be whatever the now function produces which is today's date and then we have the format we want that in so that needs to be enclosed in double quotes so we want two digit month two digit day and four digit year now we also need to add a file extension to the end of our file name which is a PDF so I'm going to use another and symbol to join this to dot PDF so now what we want to do is reference our range which is D3 to J19 and we want to export that as fixed format so when I hit space you can see we get a list of parameters for this particular method export as fixed format the first input is the type and you really have two options uh, PDF or XPS we want PDF now we're gonna do about three of these parameters and I want to continue this code on a new line so I'm gonna hit space and underscore to continue this on a new line so I'm gonna reference the type parameter and we want Excel type PDF and then a comma and a space and an underscore to continue on the next line so the next input is the file name so our file name is going to be equal to our path joined to you know our path variable that we created joined to our file name variable that we created earlier and we have an and symbol to join those two together so I'm going to add a comma and then another space and underscore to continue on a new line and the next parameter we want to define is ignore print areas and this is just a true false parameter if we want to ignore the print areas we can select true here which is what we want so that's what we'll use here because we have a particular range here so I'm going to select a different branch here. We'll select north this time and we'll just run this out of the editor by hitting play and what we should see is a north branch file with today's date populate there. So I'm going to hit play and there it is. Now one thing to keep in mind here if you rerun this for the same branch and date what this will do is overwrite a file that contains that same name that's already out there so if you don't want that to happen you know if you're running this multiple times in the same day what you could do is add a timestamp to the format here so that it will always create a new file name assuming you don't 
run this code in the same second, which is unlikely. So we could add um, hours, minutes, seconds here to the end of the file name and run this again. And you can see we get a file name here with a timestamp on the end. I can run this again and it should generate a new file because, you know, a few seconds have passed. So that will get around the issue of overriding the same file if you're looking for that sort of thing. So the final thing we want to do is assign this to a button. So I'm just going to go back to our spreadsheet and we'll add a button here. So we'll go up to developer and then insert. Just draw a button in here and we want the module 2 to PDF. So I'll click OK here and I'll right click edit the text. Let's call this save to PDF and I'll go ahead and just get a different branch this time run this and we should see the south branch out there and there it is well that is all for now thanks for watching please remember to subscribe